Hello everyone, this is David from DIY Games. This is a continuation of part 5 of 5. It was recommended that I go ahead and show the gate from the outside. That way you can kind of see how it's going to look once it's completed. This is the final product. As you can see, you can see the hinges right here for the gate. We have a 6 foot wide gate. Everything is completely straight all the way across. Wrapping around here, we actually have an eight and a half foot wide, 45 degree angle wrap. That way, to allow for this tree to still be within the yard. As you can see, I went ahead and I wanted a little extra gap on the bottom of the fence. Some people like to go all the way down to the bottom, some may like a one inch gap. It varies depending on the location, but up here and down here for the most part there's a continuous two inch gap all the way down that way to allow for water uh, grass growing as well as making sure that you don't have as much of a rot because what will happen is if you actually have your fence down too low water will just keep on staying on it staying on it staying on it could dry it out I'm not trying to keep any pets in particularly so for me, that isn't the case. I don't have to worry about any dogs or anything trying to get out from underneath the bottom. But again, this is the final product. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Feel free to check out parts one through four. Check out, see how this was coming along. And thank you again.